What's up guys, it's Talha here. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you the best way to create background images in Revit. Before I get started, I would like to ask you to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course. You can follow the first link in the description. Now let's get started. So I have opened this project and if we go into a 3D view you have the background image option here in this dialog. You can see that the background image you select the image and then customize the image here. So it's a bit difficult to adjust the adjust this image as per this scene. So I came up with an idea that allows us to easily create the background images. So let's do that. First close all then go to level 1 or I think level 3 I created this room on level 3 so here we have that now let's create a wall uh, near this glass you can see the glass is on this side so I will create a new wall here don't create this wall near this glass otherwise it will affect on the sunlight coming through this glass so just create that a bit far and now we will place a decal on this wall so let's create a new decal go to insert then select decal types here and then create a new one let's call this background enter and then load up the image i have already downloaded these images from the internet let's use this one change the finish to matte and then click ok select decal again and then place that to this wall now we will adjust this decal in the interior view so let's go back to that inter interior view and then close this level 3 you can see now we have only these two views open this interior view and this 3d now you can just press wt on your keyboard to split the screen and change the visual style to realistic here and now we will adjust this image in this view so first we need to adjust the wall size here you can see the wall is only until this mullion here so we need to increase the length of this wall just increase that here and then we need to adjust the height as well as uh, this bottom also now you can see the wall is totally covered this scene now we can edit uh, we can adjust this decal here so select that then uncheck this lock proportions we can now freely adjust this decal So it seems perfect for me now let's close this 3d view and okay actually there is a small gap here so i will adjust that that in this view select that and then just adjust this there you go by using this simple trick we can easily create the background images now let's render this scene of course these components will not look good in the rabbit rendering because i use this from the Enscape library so we will render this scene in Enscape also first let's see that in Revit so the rendering is finished but we need to do some adjustments here so first reduce the exposure and the highlights too So you can see we got this very cool looking background image here. Now let's see this in Enscape. So go to Enscape and this view is already selected so we can just click start. So the Enscape is now started and as you can see it's looking very awesome. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope this trick would be very helpful to you guys also. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to 
check out my interior course you can follow the first link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video